Hey guys, it's me, Cupid. Uh, I have schizophrenia. Um, so today I wanted to talk about uh, natural ways to treat paranoia. I found a lot of great information that actually can help you treat schizophrenia in general in natural ways. I know that seems unheard of, but it is possible. And um, it can also help you even more than medication may already help you. So if you stay on, if you decide to stay on your medication, these things can also help. Um, on top of that. So I thought that I would go over some really great information. Um, let's get started. Um, you know, I don't know how one cat can take up the whole bed, but she certainly knows how to do it. Uh, so I kind of had to move out of the way so that she could have her space, but she's here too. All right. So one of the top things that I was able to find is that vitamin treatment is very essential to treating any mental disorder, especially schizophrenia. Um, so taking folic acid supplements may help reduce symptoms. A 2014 research review notes that other B vitamins, including vitamins B12 and B6, may also be helpful. So that can help with paranoia, it can help with schizophrenia, it can help in general with mental health disorders. Um, medications and anti-anxiety drugs or anti-psychotic drugs can ease some of the symptoms of paranoia. However, a person with paranoia may often refuse to take medication because they are afraid it will harm them, which can happen. Um, therapy. This can help the person to cope with their symptoms and may improve their ability to function. However, a person with paranoia is unlikely to talk openly and freely to a therapist, so progress can be extremely slow. Um, coping skills. Other treatments aim to improve the person's ability to function socially. Options may include relaxation therapy techniques to reduce anxiety and behavior modification. So um, a lot of these things that help paranoia can also help anxiety um, because paranoia is just an extreme version of anxiety. Um, a lot of these things are specific to um, exercise, um, as we all know, exercise takes that energy away. That, ener that extra energy that you have for being paranoid is taken away by doing the exercise. Um, it, research has shown this, so believe me, I know it sounds crazy, but it is true. Meditation, um, I know it can be hard when you're paranoid to meditate and stay calm, um, but doing it on a regular basis can help prevent the paranoia. So just keep that in mind. If you want to get rid of that paranoia, maybe try doing things on a regular basis that can help prevent it. Um, relaxation exercises, deep breathing, things like that, different um, techniques that you can use to relax your, your mind. Uh, writing, uh, it always helps to be able to get those things out of you. And if you can't talk to someone, it may be better to write about it. Um, I know that I feel so much better when I get it out of my system, and sometimes it's nicer to have it written in front of you so you can see it. Um, aromatherapy. Aromatherapy, um, if you guys have any specific, um, if you would like to know more about aromatherapy, if you have any specific needs that you have or anything like that, um, I can give you essential oils um, that will help to do all kinds of things, um, including helping with paranoia. Um, so, you know, send, leave me a comment down below about that, and I will um, send you guys a list of all kinds of wonderful essential oils that can help ease your mind. Um, CBD oil. Um, it has been known to be a real great way to treat anxiety. It can also help with paranoia. I know it sounds crazy. Again, <laughs> herbal teas, a lot of the same herbal teas that treat anxiety can also treat um, paranoia. So if you guys, you know, use these things on a regular basis, it may prevent them as well. Um, herbal supplements, there's a lot of different herbal supplements out there that can help. Um, again, if you guys have any questions on what kinds of herbal supplements, what kind of herbal teas, leave me a comment down below. I will definitely provide you guys with an, a wonderful list. Um, time with animals. That is always great for me. It always helps 
I feel like the animals aren't out to get me, although I have had times where I felt like they were machines and they weren't real and that, that people were using them to to get to me, things like that. Um, so it, it does happen where, you know, the animals are not helpful. Um, I have, I've had times where I felt like, like everything was fake. So, you know, animals being fake too was just a part of it. I know she's real though, which is good. Yeah. Um, so then I also have, um, one of the most effective therapies for anxiety is called cognitive behavioral therapy. The goal is to help a person understand how their thoughts affect their emotions and behavior and to replace those reactions with positive or constructive alternatives. Um, all right, so some other things that can really help with anxiety or paranoia. Uh, St. John's wort, valerian, sympathil, a mixture of California poppy, hawthorn, and elemental magnesium and passionflower have been investigated for anxiety or paranoia, but the studies have generally been small or inconsistent. Um, lower than average omega-3 levels have been reported in patients with anxiety or paranoia, and supplementation with omega-3 appears to improve some symptoms. Um, zinc and chromium supplements may be helpful, as well as calcium and vitamin B6. Um, Studies show that a lack of certain nutrients may contribute to the development of mental disorders in general. Notably, essential vitamins, minerals, and omega-3 fatty acids are often deficient in, in the general population in America and other developed countries, and are exceptionally deficient in patients suffering from mental disorders. Many experts believe that nutrition has the potential to affect the symptoms and severity of any mental disorder. <clears throat> Supplements including omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin C and E, and folate have been investigated. Um, omega-3 fatty acids such as Icos, I can't pronounce this, but it's EPA, and then I can't pronounce the next one either, but that one's also DHA. So those are both um, acids, might have an impact on de depression, anxiety, Paranoia, because these compounds are widespread in the um, in the brain, the evidence is not only not fully conclusive, but omega three supplements are an option. Um, so, supplements that contain amino acids have been found to reduce symptoms, possibly because they are converted to neurotransmitters in the brain that help alleviate. For example, serotonin is made using the amino acid tryptophan. Dietary supplements that contain tyrosine or phenylalanine. Sorry, you guys. If you guys want, um, leave me a comment down below and I will, I will give you those names. Um, later converted into dopamine and norepinephrine are also available. Um, experts have looked at a range of herbal remedies and supplements for individuals with paranoia, the evidence supports the effectiveness of kava for mild to moderate anxiety disorders or paranoia. Kava does, however, impact on does impact on other medicines met metabolized by the liver. So, yeah. Um, some other ones: glycine, sarcosine, and acetolestine. Um, some Chinese Ayurvedic herbs, ginkgo, biloba, estradiol, and vitamin B6 to improve psychotic symptoms. Um, so vitamin treatment, again, um, according to the nonprofit group for the brain, people with schizophrenia often have low blood levels of folic acid or vitamin B9. Taking folic acid supplements may help reduce symptoms. A 2014 search um, research review notes that other B vitamins, including vitamins B12 and B6, may also be helpful. Several studies have used a combination of these vitamins. The research review also looked at a few small studies that suggest vitamins C and E may be beneficial. Some studies have linked vitamin D deficiency, especially early in life with schizophrenia. 
So vitamins um, B, all kinds of different vitamin Bs. Um, C, E, and D are all supposed to be very helpful for people with schizophrenia. And they are commonly found to be deficient in people who have schizophrenia, which is kind of interesting. Um, fish oil is a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids. I know we've talked about this numerous times. I found so much different research to, um, that proved that omega-3s are indeed a very helpful thing for paranoia, anxiety, all of that. Um, so those nutrients are known to reduce inflammation in your body. Inflammation may play a role in many mental illnesses, including schizophrenia. In a study involving 81 young people at the high risk of schizophrenia, those who took fish oil supplements were less likely to, to develop the condition. Sorry. Glycine. Glycine is a protein building block or an amino acid. It works with glutamine, which aids in brain function. Some studies have found that high doses of glycine may boost the efficiency of antipsychotic drugs used to treat schizophrenia. But there are exceptions. Glycine may actually decrease the effectiveness of the drug clozapine. That you do have to be careful with. Um, make sure that you talk to your doctor. Some, some of these things may be helpful, but some of them may interact with your medicines. Um, I know that for the most part, they do not, though. So just know that. Uh, glycine may also decrease negative symptoms of schizophrenia, like flat effect or depression. So that is good to know, right? Diet management is always, always helpful in any mental disorder. But specifically with schizophrenia, a gluten-free diet has been found to reduce symptoms of schizophrenia in some studies. However, the benefits were only realized in a specific subgroup of people. Gluten is the component of certain grains, especially wheat. Research on ketogenic, ketog uh, sorry, ketogenic um, diets has also shown promising results. A ketogenic diet is a high-fat, low-carbohydrate diet that also includes high-protein foods. Sorry, my nose is still really stuffed up. I need to take some, like, Mucinex or something. I'm having, like, hard time talking, and you can kind of tell I'm a little <laughs> talk, having, having issues because I can't breathe sometimes when I talk. It's just nothing able to come out. Um, all right. Um... But diet changes do not always make a difference for people with schizophrenia. Um, so it can, I feel like it should help everyone. Um, I'm all about natural medicine though, so maybe that's just me. But um, I know that diet plays a huge part in how we are as people in general. Um, let's see, so some great thing, great forms of therapy that can help as well. There's many great forms of therapy out there in the world, but some that can help with paranoia. Um, group therapy is a psychotherapy me method where people with the same psychosis meet in a group in, in a group session. Each member of the group shares their feelings and experiences with others. So these individuals know they're not alone. Also, it can be useful for learning coping skills that have helped others in the same situation. I go to group therapy regularly. Um, when it comes to paranoia treatment, the biggest problem with group ther therapy is that members of the group are often suspicious of one another and the leading therapist. While building trust with a therapist can happen over time, building trust with a group of other paranoid patients can prove difficult. Very true. Um, this is especially true because many patients do not stick to therapy, so the group dynamic is constantly changing. I have noticed that. Um, Milieu therapy. Milieu therapy is a type of psychotherapy in which the patient's environment is controlled to prevent self-destructive self behavior. This is often used as an inpatient, on an inpatient basis, sorry, on an inpatient basis, but it can also be applied to outpatient treatment with some in-home visits. To help suppress or cope with symptoms of paranoia, the patient's environment at home, work, and during 
during certain activities is controlled or manipulated. This could take many forms, but it's usually aimed toward making sure that the patient does not become self-destructive or violent when they're trying to function in their normal day-to-day -day life. Self-esteem boosting, which I found to be very intriguing because I think self-esteem boosting can help with all kinds of things. Um, if we didn't feel so down about ourselves, we probably wouldn't feel down in general. Um, in 2011, one study researched the effects of negative beliefs about the self on paranoia symptoms. It found that subjects who had negative feelings about themselves had more negative symptoms. When these views became more positive, their symptoms decreased. Because of this research, many therapists focus on self-esteem boosting exercises during the first six weeks of psychiatric treatment for paranoia patients. Boosting self-esteem can reduce symptoms and help make other therapies more effective. It also helps to build trust between the therapist and the patient. You can also do your own form of self-esteem um, self boosting, affirmations in the mirror, um, sitting there telling yourself all kinds of things that you love about yourself. Um, in the mirror. Um, you can do all kinds of different things like that. Um, even meditating on trying to love yourself, different um, ways of finding self-guided meditations to love yourself, things like that. There's all kinds of different things that you can do. Um, I definitely find that it is probably one of the best ways to deal with negative symptoms, self-esteem boosting. Um, supportive psychotherapy. It can be very helpful for patients to have simple, supportive psychotherapy. In this type of therapy, the therapist is simply supportive of the patient and helps them work through their par paranoia. Instead of challenging paranoid delusions, they instead focus on ways to cope with the situations that arise. This is a good way to start therapy sessions for paranoia treatment. It allows the therapist to build a rapport with the patient and also builds on trust. Once trust is established, it's easier for the therapist to try other methods. So these are all the different things that you guys can do to help treat your paranoia. Um, paranoia is very common among people with schizophrenia. Um, there are also things that I listed that can help with schizophrenia in general. I don't know if you guys caught on to that, um, but there were quite a few things that um, can treat schizophrenia. Um, now, I'm not saying don't take medicine, not saying that at all. If you are taking medicine, keep taking your medicine. It, you may be able to do these things on top of taking your medicine. I have been actually looking at doing some of these things myself. Um, there are also other things that, um, like, let's say you're not taking medicine. These would be very helpful things to make sure you keep in mind because if you're not taking medicine, then you are going to need something to help. Um, and I thought it was really great information to learn that there are common um, occurrences. Um, it has been found people with schizophrenia are deficient in many things. And that could be a reason why you have schizophrenia. It could also be a way to treat your schizophrenia. Um, so you know, different things like that are very helpful to learn. I don't know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have anything that helps you with your paranoia, please leave a comment down below. Um, if there is anything you guys um, wanted to learn more about, please leave a comment down below. If there's any videos you want me to do, any, sub any subjects you want me to talk about, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I, um, I would love to focus more on the things that you guys want to learn about. Right now, I'm just basically going through a list of the things that I could think of and some of the things that people have given me ideas on. So would love to learn more about what you guys, the viewers, want to watch. Um, anyways, have a wonderful day, you guys. Stay beautiful, stay awesome, stay unique, stay you, stay amazing, um, stay awesome. Um, and above all else, you guys, love yourselves. Please, please, please boost that scene. Boost that self-esteem. I can't, can't talk sometimes. I'm sorry. Um, yes, boost your self-esteem. Um, peace and love, you guys.